In today's video, I'm gonna give you some of my favorite tips and tricks to help you take control of your inbox, saving you time and frustration. Most people use their inbox as their main form of communication, and I believe most people can learn to use it a lot more effectively, which is why the tips and tricks we're gonna go through today can be put into practice straight away. Of course, if you do like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and if you're on a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. For today's example, we are gonna use the traditional uh, Outlook 365 desktop application, not the new version, because I feel most people are still using the traditional 365 desktop app, but what we do today will also work on the new Outlook as well. One thing when I think about my inbox is that really your inbox here, where your emails first land, this should be clear by the end of the week or the end of the month, or pretty minimal in terms of the amount of emails that are in here. And the first way I would recommend helping to do this is actually going into the left-hand side here where you can see you have your account. And underneath that, you have your inbox, draft, sent, deleted, and so on. And I would actually create new folders for similar groups of emails. To do this, I'd simply select on the inbox and right-click, and then I'd create a new folder. So this could be a project name, it could be uh, a group, anything like that. Uh, so I'm gonna call this team project, just because it's just an example today. But this could be everything related to a specific team project that once I've read those emails, I'll simply file them away into here. And you have a few ways of filing things away. You can of course drag and drop like I'm doing right now. You can press control shift and choose a whole range of emails here, drag and drop them. Or you could even right click on these and then you can scroll down to where it says move and you can choose a folder to put it into. What I'd recommend is that once you're done with an email, file it away into a specific folder. I only have about four or five folders that I work with. Some are specific to things like the team project, but what I also have for more generic things is I right click on my inbox, I'll create a new folder, and I'll simply call this red. So I know that once I've read something and I've actioned it, I don't really need to have it in my view anymore. I just move it over to the red folder. Of course, if, is, if it's specific to a particular project we're working on, I'd have a folder for that as well. But creating a few different folders inside of your inbox will allow you to actually make it a much neater view. And once you're done with something, you simply file it away under the red or the project or whatever it may be into its right folder. Of course, filing things away can be a little bit cumbersome sometimes, and maybe you don't even wanna see the email straight away. You want it to be automatically moved into that folder and you'll get to it when you have time. This is where rules can really make it much, much easier for you by simply having it automated. To create a rule with Microsoft Outlook, you have two ways of doing this. The first one is by selecting on the email and up the top here in our ribbon, about halfway through to the middle, you have an option of rules and you can drop this down and create the rule from here, or you can simply right click on the email, scroll down to where it says rules, and you get the same options here. Rules are great because you can customize these and manage them as you see fit. And what I'm gonna do here is actually go to, I could select on the default of always move messages from that sender, um, but I'm actually gonna go create rule and open this because this is where you can get a little bit more granular when creating rules. I can actually choose to have all emails from, in this example, it's from Microsoft, and as long as they're sent to me only, or I could have that ticked or unticked, I could automatically have these emails uh, from a sender, or if it has a particular name in it, uh, so a subject containing, you have late tasks, I'm gonna grab everything here, and then I'm going to move it to a folder drop this down and I'm gonna move it straight away into my red and go okay. So what this means is that every time I get an email from Microsoft with the subject of you have late tasks, it's going to automatically move it into the folder of red so it doesn't clog up my inbox and I have less emails that I have to triage myself. Of course, you can choose to uh, play in an alert or display an alert item, but I'd recommend if you're setting a rule, don't tick these two options here. And if you wanted to really get advanced, you could go into the advanced options and you can see there's all these different ways of customizing the rule. You could choose who the sender is, you could choose the importance level, all that sort of stuff. For this example, I'm not gonna get this granular, but if you feel you need to, you can always find it in the advanced options. And I'm simply gonna select an okay to create this rule. 
This dialog box is gonna pop up saying success, the rule has been created. And then I can actually choose to run this email now on the current folder. So we're in our inbox and this will find all the emails that are titled, you have late tasks. And let's watch what happens with this rule. Now let's select on okay. And you'll see that all those emails that said you have late tasks, they've automatically moved into my red folder. So they've not been deleted, but Microsoft has automatically moved all the emails called you have late tasks into red. I can go ahead and access them later. Uh, you see here it says I have four unread emails. And as I get more of these, it would pop up with four, five, six. So I can always go into the red folder. Um, but this means that my inbox won't be cluttered up with those sorts of messages straight away. They'll just be filed over into red and I can get to them when I want to because they're not a priority email for me. If you wanted to edit or customize your rules, you can simply go up to your home tab, select on the drop down of rules, and then you can actually go manage rules and alerts. And this will show you all the rules that you have um, currently made. So you can go ahead and copy, delete, or change that rule. Once you start using one rule, I'm sure that you'll find other uses for it. And this will just help you speed up the way you use your Outlook inbox. Another great way of prioritizing your emails is by using flags. So in my inbox here, if I select an, an email and in the top right hand corner, this little flag appears, I can actually choose to flag that email. It will have a tick next to it, just like it does now if that flag has been completed. And I'll do one more down the bottom because then you can quickly flag the emails that are important to you. And these are things you wanna follow up on. You see that the color of the email has changed to yellow. It has the red flag in the corner. And then in the top right hand corner of your inbox, you can see here you've got focused, other, and by date. We can actually just sort this and we can sort by flagged emails. And this is gonna bring this email straight up for you. And it really helps to just flag the things that you need to follow up on. And then once you're done with it, you can simply select on that flag one more time and it will give you a tick next to it. Of course, right now, because we are focused on flags, once you tick it, it will remove from here. But if I go all emails, and I tick on those flags, you get a green tick saying that email has been completed or that action has been completed. Another great way of speeding up the way you use your email isn't by looking for emails uh, by scrolling through your inbox, but it's by using the search icon at the top of Outlook. You can either select on the icon by using your mouse or you can use the keyboard shortcut of Control E and you can start searching. You can see here as soon as we select on the search, to the left of that, you can actually choose to search your current mailbox, all mailboxes, subfolders, or your current folder. When you select on here, you can start searching for people and it gives you suggestions. If I'm looking for something from Adele, I'm gonna select on Adele's name and you see what happens here is that it's not just searching for Adele, but it also shows items that have been shared with you from Adele. So you have Word documents, Excel documents, everything like that. But for now, I'm gonna search for Adele and everything from her. And then underneath that, you see that this search bar actually appears and you can choose things like the from or the subject and you can add a keyword to the subject. Maybe the keyword is employee plan and it will start searching on employee plan. Maybe we can get rid of the subject for now and you're actually looking for an email with an attachment. So we know it's from Adele and then we're going to select on the option of has attachments. And this would find everything from Adele that has attachments. In this example, Adele hasn't sent you anything with an attachment, so we can get rid of that. And then maybe we can choose to search from Adele and see uh, if anything is flagged from her, anything like that. But instead of just using your inbox to physically scroll through and find everything, I'd recommend using the search and start looking for either the sender or the name of the item because this can search not only a person's name or an Outlook email name, it can also search for files too. And using the filters down the bottom of refining that search just makes it a lot faster than manually looking through everything. The final tip I wanna give you for today is more of a habit of mine that is to try and keep a tidy if focused inbox. And that is by removing most of the stuff that you don't need and putting it into one of those folders on the side. At the end of most weeks, I'll actually go through my inbox. I'll look at everything that has been opened and actioned. I'll select on those emails and then I will simply just drag and drop them 
into my red folder or if you want to you can already use the pre-installed archive folder so these emails can still be recalled and searched up later it just means you have a much nicer cleaner outlook when you open it up on monday morning instead of being inundated with all these emails in front of you you only have what's important and there you have it those are some of my favorite tips and tricks on how you can better manage your inbox take control of that inbox and save yourself some time and frustration let me know your favorite tip in the comment section down below of course if you liked this video let me know by giving a thumbs up and if you want to supercharge your computer hit that subscribe button as well thanks for watching and see you next time bye